um, first I'd like to start with the Gemara. I remember the Rebbe saying, uh, telling the story in 770 and as a child. I don't remember when it was, but Dafke Bashgochel Yoyna, my cousin sent me a uh, little thing from a Fabrengi Yudbeis Thomas Tov Shemem Hey, where you can see me in the video. So it's exciting to me. But... <laughs> this is a story I remember as a child hearing the Rebbe tell of the Fabrengi. The Gemara says a Baruch. So what it says in Sudas like this. Debbie Akodish said, before he passed away, my time, uh, the Gemara says, why? And for the Gemara, call the Shimshi, have the Osala base. Every 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 came every Friday night. Rabbi Akadosh would come home. I mean, after he passed away, he came home every single Friday night, and he would make kiddush for his wife. Who be Shimshi? I saw you Shimshi. Bol sakukari abavo. One shop is a neighbor came and knocked on the door. Omram, the Shetiku, the Rebbe So the servant maid came and said, Shh, don't bother, Rebbe Akkadish is here. This was years after he was lifted. Given the Shama, when Rebbe heard this conversation, Loyosa, he never came back home. Why? Shaloy Lahoitzi Laz and Sadiqim Marishayim. Because then people, everyone will talk about this. Wow. And uh, then there'll be the, 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 the people will say, oh, the other tzaddikim, they don't come home, they die, and they don't come home Friday night. If you don't come on Friday night after you die, then you're not uh, worthy to be called a tzaddik. So Rebbe didn't want to want to be a laz of the tzaddikim neshanim, so he never came back. But however, we find the Gmarba Matzila Pezai, that after the Matzila, the tzaddikim are spalled. So there is a Rebbe Eger brings a moira to say for Tzidim. V'hoya Rebbe nira v'bigdei chamudas sh'eloi v'sh b'shabas v'poyter is a rabbi v'kiddush ayoy. V'loi kishor me'itzim sh'em chofshim min ha-mitzvah s'ki tzadikim chayim v'poyter v'kiddush. Wow, wow, wow. In other words, Rebbe Akiva Eger brings it. Chakshayla. Ha-himel's gishleit. Very nice. That's a beautiful gemara. The din is only a chayv as moitzi as a chayv. Someone that's potter cannot, a cotton cannot be moitzi. Why? Because he's not chayv. Only a chayv can be, because it says, ba meisim chavshi, kibesh meisim odem chavshi mena mitzvah. So he's not chayv in Kiddush. So how could he make Kiddush for his family a potter from Kiddush? So the same for Chesidim says, no. Sadikim are chayv, like the Gemara says. Sadikim shur misos nekron chayv. Four stories. So the Kiva asked the question. So the Kiva asked. So the Kiva asked. No, he brings it. He brings it all. That's the question. Yeah. Never spoke about it. Yep. Didn't he know it was going to become covered? Huh? Wasn't it? Didn't he know beforehand that it was going to find out? It's supposed to be quiet. It's pretty supernatural that's going to happen. Someone's going to find out. It's fine. Especially if there are no men home in just the house. They want to answer that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's what What happened to a guest? I guess they did. They had a policy: no guest Friday night. The <laughs> shop is <laughs> 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 Yeah. That's what they would say. That's what they would say. Let read it again. Hoya Rebbe needed a bide chamudas shayeloyvish b'shabes uboiter es harabim bekidus shayoy aloyke shormei shem shem kofshim in amitzus. There's a story from the Benish Chai and say from the Floy Masecha. It's an unbelievable story. Um, there's this uh, Sefer that's a collection of about 156 stories that Benish Chai said. You know, uh, Azar loves to tell stories from the Zayda and the Benish Chai when he spoke, thousands of people came and you could hear a pin drop. I'll tell you the secret. The Benish Chai was the best storyteller, Mamish. So here's a story from the Benish Chai. He said that there was, in the days of Reb Shri Yagoyim, there was an Oshir Mufli. He had in his possession a Sefatoyah from Ezra Asoyfer. He died. 
Now there was a dispute between his descendants, in two sons. Each one wanted the Torah. Went to Bez, Bez said, okay, you know what? We'll do this. Split it. All the wealth, all the wealth, let's say the Torah. You get your choice. They still were fighting. Each one said, I don't care about the wealth. I want the Torah. So, okay, we'll make a goyal. So the person that won the Sefer Torah walked away without a nickel. And he was the happy one. There was a Meshumah there. He heard the stories. He was burning the Meshumah. A person, the son of this wealthiest man on earth, and he's willing to walk away with Adam Nickel for what? For that Sefer Torah? And he was so angry that he, he disguised himself as a Frumid. He came into the shul. The people left. <coughs> he, I mean, I missed out a detail. This, he decided to place the Sefer Torah in one of the famous shuls. So they had a big Achnosa Sefer Torah, and it was Shabbos. That Shabbos is going to be the Shabbatim. They're going to read from the Torah of Ezra Zoyfer. So that night, he went there into the shul, and when everyone left, he opened up the, the Oren Kodesh, and Achmor al it was Machal the Sefer Torah, he opened up the Sefer Torah to that parasha, and it says, Va'avadatem as Hashem alaykeichem, and instead, an ayin, he erased the ayin and put in the aleph. Ve'ibadatem, Rachmon al That you lost the He knew what to do. He knew what to do, yeah, it was a bizarre. And the next day when they took up the Torah, you can imagine it was a shtudim. They looked at it, obviously they rolled up the Torah, they put the apostle, they took out a different Torah. This person came home, he was so, he pushed, became sick, and he, he was in bed, he couldn't get out of bed. But now people were saying, this, this is Shai to say, this is Ezra, I thought you say, a safe Torah. Well, Ezra made a mistake. He wrote instead of a... Someone screwed this up. Okay. No one, now we know the story. No, no one, no, no one thought, thought of it. it. No thought now of it. we know. No. It's a thousand years old already. Yeah. That's the way it is. They thought that maybe it was just that uh, this guy, this uh, rich man, decided he picked up some Zeta Toyota, and he decided it's uh, as a cyphers. It was a big tumble. That night he had a dream. His father told him, "My son, I'm telling you, it's an authentic Zeta Toyota from Ezra Cipher. I'm telling you the hint said it." And the Bez Nishal Milas is a shtudim, it's a hidl gishnei in the whole heaven. You should know that that Meshumah was already punished. The Torah says, Ayin takas Ayin. A Malach already poked out one of his eyes. Wow. Ooh, wow. 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 However, the, Torah, the, the Bez Nishal Milas passed that Ezra Sofer himself must go and fix the Sefer Torah. Wow. And if you go right now and you, 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 you go open on the Torah, you'll see the Sefer Torah is fixed. The guy got out of bed. He knocked on the door of the Gaboy, they said, we must go to shul. They opened up the Oren Kodesh, and they found the tacket was fixed. Wow. It was not nick at anything. It was clean, and it was as if nothing ever happened to the Shabbos. And they, the they found out that the Meshumad is missing an eye. Wow. <laughs> Next day. That's how they knew who the Meshumad was. Yep. So, that, I mean, that was a sign that this guy uh, is, is telling a real story. Good. So, Frexa, the Shaila, on the story, how can Ezra Soifer, with all the Shubas of Ezra Soifer, how can he fix the Sefer Torah? So, again, go back to the Sefer Siddim. According to the Sefer Siddim, it's not a Bella. Ezra Soifer was a Tzaddik, so he was alive. Another story. What's the Shaila? What do you mean, why can't he fix the Torah? Eliyahu, no, he does a lot of things that, that, that he's, he's not using. You know, Eliyahu, no, he it comes to be written in Shema by a person that's Kayim and Mitzvah. Eliyahu, no, he comes all the time, right? We let, him, we let him handle our wine. Oh, our wine. Hey, yeah. I can make a yes, yes, sir. It's not a goy. The old love is not a goy. How do we know? How do we know the guy that's coming to see you? How do you know? I didn't really, well, know when it comes to touching wine. I didn't know it's not a goy that did it. Anyway, the goofy shillinian, he's a tzaddik, so he's alive. What is the same person that's not alive can't do it? Can't do it. You know, because it has to have a kavon and a shema. Yeah. By a bar chiyuv, it has to be a bar chiyuv. So at the minute he's he's threatened, he's in a bus, he's in a kufkash, he needs a chiyuv. Oh, okay. So you say good. Say good. Say good. I don't know. I don't know. Next day, the day before. I know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. There's a story, a second story, a story from Avramovino. It's brought in Shem Gedolim by the Chidor. 
there was once the Eden of Hebron. This story, by the way, they'll tell you if you go to for a tour in Hebron, they'll tell you this story. At least I was in Hebron many, many years ago, about 25 years ago, and uh, they told me the story in the in the Abraham of Shul. So there was once very few Eden. There was nine Eden in Hebron, and they uh, came together for for, for Kol Nidre and it were mamish to broke broken heart. Here it's Yom Kippur, Ira Ovis, and they don't have a menu. All of a sudden, the door opens up, a man with a beautiful long white hair shows up. And they were so happy, they daven, the whole Yom Kippur, they daven. After Yom Kippur, a dispute broke out between the, the Chamraya, who's going to be Zerichel to get this Oirach to, to break the fast. They turned around and he disappeared. The Shamash and the Shul felt terrible. That night he had a dream that Abraham Avinu showed up to him. It was the same man with the white beard. He said, You should know I'm Abraham Avinu. And I saw the great pain that you had that you'd never been here and decided to be the tent for your minion. Chido says, from here we have a riot in meaning of a lot of people that they go to Kibrit Sadiqim with talus and film and they die. Oh, it's not exactly. That's called Loyag Laraj. That you're laughing at them because they can't do a mitzvah. They can't do a single mitzvah. That's I saw a story of the Chafetz Chaim that a Kvir came to give money for the yeshiva. And he said that after well, Achim Ames, we should learn Mishnayos from me. So he said, Chafetz Chaim was like, like he didn't care for the money for his yeshiva. <laughs> he said, keep the money. You'll have a much bigger schus if you learn Torah in your lifetime yourself instead of someone else learning Mishnayos Lias Nishmascha. He said, the whole Ganeitin, you can't pick up one, one, uh, uh, one little sin that a piece of shame is he can't find there. The only Svarim you're going to have in Shemayim is the learning that you learn in this world, Hamudu Meyodim. The Svarim you learn with this, that, that those are the Svarim you take with you to the world to come. So, um... That's why you're talking to right? Oh, so I want to talk about talking to Tzitzitz. Lani is Daiti. I'll tell you something in a minute. I just want to finish this. There's a third story from the Chosid Reb Mordechai Yoel Duchman. The story was told that there was nine people that the, at the Tzian of the Alter Rebbe and they, they didn't have ten. So, uh, so the uh, Reb Mordechai Yoel opened up the door. They were down here right near the uh, Tzian. And he asked that the Alter Rebbe should be Mitzvah as a tenth for the minion. So when he came back to uh, the city of Gomel, they asked him, I don't know, a minion? So he said, I don't remember. <laughs> he said, but I'll tell you what. He said, tell you what, the Rebbe is all He always used to say about the Alter Rebbe, the Rebbe is all gesund sein in Galei. A, third, a fourth story is an incredible story. There was a Yid that uh, came here in the Shabbos, trying to get his, some his kids to Yeshiva. So uh, there's a story of in Tunisia. So he was a tzaddik awesome and uh, when he passed away, they uh, they made a big monument on his cave, and the person was the, the was whose job was to carve out the words on the uh, on the stone. Wrote a beautiful musaf, and he wrote that Rabbi Yitzchok may to gimel to the stone and fix it. Right, loy mace. <laughs> so there's a disorder, and that's why apparently at his cave bed it says, the Yitzchak Chai Tayei Loi Meis, the Dalotam, the Stoshin, whatever. Which country is this? Tunis. I think they have to have it. It's this word that's told. I have a shul there for the guys. Right. <laughs> so there's a, a beautiful children of Abadi Yosef. And uh, he argues on the Chido. Basically, <laughs> okay. He says that the Chido, the Chido Bamas has two reasons that he's making. But on this reason that he's making, he argues in it. He says that he's this very small of the thing. He said, when the Rebbe Akkadish was Moitzah Kiddush was when he came to Gud Gashmi. When was it that, uh, that Abraham Avinu was Mitzvah as a minion when he was in his gala on Gud Gashmi? So the the Mavad Yosef said that there was a yid asked them they're going to Kevet Tzadik they only have nine but the Shkefer like the Tzadik will be the Tzadik for the Kaddish and the tenth for the Minyan. The Mavad Yosef asked him. He said I'm asking no problem. One tonight you have to hear the Tzadik answer only. 
Uh, the, there's a story from the base of all. They said one of the Chosh of his father passed away. And the next Shabbos, he called him up for an Aliyah. It's a big Gemara lie. So they told us to the base of Sol, no, it's a big deal. Next week, you should give him Hagbin. <laughs> Did they say about the rest of us? You can say that they never get the Rebbe. They give the Rebbe a little bit of a hug. They come up for a hug when they talk. He's fine. You can say that. So, uh, you should ask the Darshan before Musa. Exactly. Okay, but the Chidah, the Chidah, and the Chidah is another thing, which is not, that doesn't apply to everything, but applies that he says. Are we going to get back to the yellow words? <coughs> oh, yeah, for sure. The Chidah says that, um, it's uh, that in your day, some shin mem shin mem dalit that there are it's uh, there are rishonim that say there's the rambam there's many abuah that say that it's uh, you're allowed to say psukim in the mitzvah of the kavod of mes and the dalad amos of the mes. Why? Because the gemara before Eshes that by the kavod also will be moisay she yeshiva yeshiva al kimrei they put a yeshiva that will only turn on a scale. That's just a good thing. Cave. You know, outside in the cemetery there. Man I know, but but that's what the, but look Pashtas it means a mamish by his cave. There was a yeshiva. So how Elobai says because whenever you're doing it with COVID Hamaze, when when is it? Were you walking with tzitzis or you walking with Phil in, in, into the Dalanamas of a maze or the altar holds in the entire cemetery? So it's you're laughing at the maze, but when you're going and saying to Hillen, by a uh, caver, <laughs> le covered hamais. You're doing it le covered hamais. So and then it's more saying that too. And the man in Russia says, the right? Right. right. You're walking by a corner. Oh, there's a gate. In in in, in, in the oil. Right. There's a gate. There's a gate. Now I just I got work. I want to talk about the tzitzis. Adover do minei buki v'aserei, and then there's do minei minei. The Gemara has an expression: do minei buki v'aserei. You're learning from here, but you apply the logic somewhere else. There's a sicha from the from the Rebbe, the Tov Shemar Malaf, a long sicha about what's the minik chabad. So the tzitzis should be out, or the tzitzis should be in. I basically no, 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 the cloud. Oh. When you walk around with tzitzis, and the Rebbe says from the uh, from Moedi v'Chavi, from my father-in-law, is not such a rai. Why? He says because even though it gets you know, Gillette, you know, like the uh, vest, but most of the day he wore a capote. So, so the tzitzis were covered. So the tzitzis were covered. Because he was wearing capotes, he couldn't see the tzitzis. But, but, but what you see from this is, I would not think that that's called the tzitzis are covered. I would think this is called tzitzis revealed. But what are we talking about? The pagan or the actual? Oh, the actual contradiction. The so, actual tzitzit. Well, it says a reason of sorry. It doesn't mean that the wool bag anymore. Right. We're talking about the tzitzit. Yeah. But, but I'm saying it's not necessary. If you're wearing a jacket or a capota, and when you close your jacket, the tzitzit right. are not sticking out. So you can't see you're not wearing it. So you, 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 there's no, you don't have to tuck it in. Oh, if you're by the, you're doing it by the, right. by the, by the. If you're in the base of high, right. Right. And you you have a jacket, and your jacket, you button up your jacket. Say that's the mitzvah. You button your jacket. Put on a gadol. You button your jacket. So now your tzitzis, if that's the case, that your tzitzis is being covered by your jacket, that's good enough, because your chip, your tzitzis are being covered from below, every part of the tzitzis. So if your jacket is short or your tzitzis is very long. It's not covered. It's not covered. If it's covered, it's covered. If it's not covered, it's not covered. Can you get more than that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But the, the, the right. The because the was on it, so it was like not. But the bottom line is, I'm saying that it's not important to put it into your pants. As long as it's covered, it's covered. It doesn't have to be covered. Right. That's not visible. Back to this, to to this, to, to our song of Chai the Kai. No, but what's the maskana? Can you wear it since it's out to the by the Oh, what's the maskana? So. There are people that they they daven, they have minyanim. A lot of kibbutz tzaddikim they have minyanim. They wear tzitzis and talas, and they and they daven them. But minik chabad, it seems that it's not that way. Minik chabad seems to be not that way. Even though, even though there's a there's there's a minik yisrael, <coughs> there are in chabad that was very makbid for everything in halacha. Even 
to know there's a tzad to be made for. Someone asked me this week a shayla, he said so he wanted to convince a friend, a koyin, to come with him to the oil. And the friend said, no, how can I go to the oil? It's a, 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 a whole discussion, keep it, it's a dika matama, not matama, they're alive at this, but I, I, I don't want to get involved. So I told, yeah, you're right, but you don't have to get involved. The oil was built by the Rebbe himself, that there should not be a tzofik and a tzad sale, tzofik shal tzofik, that every coin is muta to enter. There's the chuvas that were, that ever wrote and were published by the Rosh Hashim and Toyota Vadas um, uh, and Avrifkin, with the Rebbe when he built the oil. That's why most oil in heaven, there's no roof, there's no roof. And there's a big box built around. It was built, there should be not any style shall sofik or svek sveke, that it's mutter for 100% for coin to come there without relying on the idea of Kibre Tzadikim Anach Metama. Why? Because it's totally in every... First of all, the Posh of Shat is that we want to be Nizah in every thing in Halacha. So, Zichir that the Tzadikim are alive. But when it comes to the Halacha, that you shouldn't be Loi Glorosh. So, Mamela, we know we're in Tfil, or we're in Sintas Begoli, in the Dalad Amas of a cave, and even if it's a Tzadik who is alive. And the same thing, Koyrim, that uh, the Rebbe built it in a way that should be no shine at all, the Koyrim allowed to go there. But for Shneitzach, it's totally in every person. If, uh, if, if, if the Tzadik... Why don't you put your hand inside? Why don't you put your hand inside? Should it go over the wall? No. You should throw it. You should, should throw it. Yeah, it should put your hand inside. So, Vishnetzach, it's totally every person. Alvin writes in the, in the letter in the Pedic Chalzayim, the Geres HaKoydush, that Kol HaKorev, Mishkel Hashem Mechayev, Koyedur Lebroch. So, the beautiful shot that I heard, a person of Mechayev, that in his life, in his personal life, he's close to the, to the Tzadik, he's Koyedur Lebroch, because he's close, in his, in his Chayim, he's close to the Tzadik. The Gevara says in time is Tafei, Mazarim Bechayim, Mafu Bechayim. So if a person is in Avodah Hashem, is levity, because it's connection to the Rebbe, then Avada by this person, the Rebbe is alive. A person, it's not going to help to learn this Sikha and that Sikha. If a person learns the Sikhas and learns and does all the Takhonas and his Beruchni is alive because of Tzadik, and Tzadik is, the, the Rebbe is living by him. And if not, it's not going to help to wave the flags that are. Yeah, this color or that color, and it's not going to be. It's not going to happen. It's a, if a tak, if a person zari b'chayim, if a person is a lept because of his kashrus at tzadik, then the tzadik may be alive. And this, this, b'chalal ena the shemay alav. Now, uh, one second, I want to wrap it up because. You know, they, so I just want to tell you something. When he was died, someone that says that the tzadik is chay b'chayim b'guv gashmi. He's not an apicoidus because it's a uh, Maimah Chazal. Someone that says that that person is an apicoidus, he's an apicoidus. <laughs> not only that, there's a, very, there's a lot of people that are very quick to point out who is an apicoidus. Oh, he said this one is Mashiach, he's apicoidus. The devil of art, he's apicoidus. <laughs> now, next time you meet such a person, I want you to ask him a question. What's the difference between a min, a koifer, apicoidus, and a mumu? And you want to know where in the Rambam it's talking about? Even though he's not a Lubavitcher, so he, the Stama doesn't know Rambam, but this is one Pedic that every Rosh Hashiva quotes at least once a year, and it's this Pedic and Rambam is Elamai, it's one Aloch after the famous Aloch. Every Darsh mentions it maybe once a year, and I've said it here, every Briska learns this Pedic and Rambam at least once a year. Elamai, it's one Aloch off. It's a Pedic Gimel Aloch above, and the Pedic Gimel Aloch hey talks about, you know, the whole thing of Ketia Shoifer, No Chadal, and Afa Bishar, Ketia Shoifer, and Oshon, and Zeres HaKosov, and Emez Yesh Boy, Uri Shein, and Mishin Askel. The next Aloha that Ramam talks about, not the difference of Min, Koifer, Apikoides, and Mumma. So the next time you have a person who tells you about a Yid, he's a Koifer, he's a Apikoides, find out if he knows, not if he knows, but Emez, what's the Pshat, which Sefer in the Rambam it is. So it isn't Sefer Hamado, and Hilchas Tshuva, Pei De Gimel, Halocha, Vov, Zayin, Ches, Tes. You can look it up on your own, the time is short. But I think I think you should ask such a shayla, a person who is an expert. Uh, but who is it? So ask him if he knows what's the difference between me and the Koyfer and Apikoyis. Definitely, that uh, a yid that thinks that a tzaddik is alive, 
um, is, is not a bad thing, but if he's claiming that Machalik the lot in the 770, I think he should go to a doctor to get checked out. <laughs> how, about, how about if he's Mashiach Vada? A lot of them also say that he's Mashiach Vada. I don't think that they have a problem. A I don't, they don't have a problem with them saying, I think the pro, they don't have a problem with them saying that he's Chai Bikai. They have a bigger problem with them saying that he's, that he's, that he's already Mashiach. Well, you don't become a koifa because you have to know what right. does it mean. What's a koifa? They hold that they, they, hold that they don't believe in B.S. Mashiach because you already say Mishnah <coughs> came. So therefore, they hold that you don't believe in, like the Rambam says, you have to believe Mashiach and come a chaglova for yog. If you hold that he held came already, then you don't believe a chaglova for yog. Uh, uh, That's the. But so. I think these people are still saying every day in Davari, so obviously they believe that there's something to ask for. Yeah, but they didn't change it. No, the Mashiach is here, but the Abish is not here yet. The Mashiach came back to see him, but not the Abish. In these people's mind, there is a Pesab right? But they still didn't change the Nusach HaTvila. Okay, that's why I said sometimes they need to be checked out. But 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 Mela is not shy to say that such a person is an Apikoyus. If I care, to someone that doesn't believe, someone that was a person that came to Shabbos, like, come on, let's learn. Believes that, oh, the story tells us, the Tanakh tells a story about Shemesh Begivim Gem. It's an allegory. Kiyas Yamsuf. Kiyas Yamsuf. Sheikh says that actually happened. But he asked the Sheikh, said three times. Maybe Kiyas Yamsuf is an allegory. So he decided that this story is an allegory and this one not. Someone that, uh, there's a beautiful word that the that never said he heard from any Some sort of that a person that the Nikola is. Arguing against the Torah Sanister, the Nister he doesn't believe the Torah Sanister. That means the, the goal of your person saying, ah, that, 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 the Torah Sanister, but really, deep in their heart, they don't really believe the Torah Sanister. So, uh, don't, don't th- th- this, is, this is not a shkite. To say about a person that uh, that believes that it's Adik is Chai Vakayim, forget it. It's a nice thing. That's what Chazal say. Chazal say that Sadiqim and Kisosom Purim Chayim. And the Rebbe HaKadosh made Kiddush. A person that, that there are people, there's a person that wrote a book claiming why there are, the why Lubavitch is up to Kodosom and, and the Kofi. I wonder if this person, the heart of the hearts, believed that Rebbe HaKadosh actually came home and made Kiddush with Lugashim. I met this person. He's a Christian. This guy's and Christian. I doubt, yeah, I doubt that the MS, he believes in this story that Chazal say, again, it's an allegory, it does, but it didn't happen. Rabbi HaKadosh came with Guv Gashmi. Yeah. It's not B'doich HaGlesh Yashem. A person believes that Chazal say it, and it's like, very good. Okay, we're going to show you next week. You met him and you're watching him. Yeah, yeah, yeah.